Is it way here? Through music in the classroom, to fire in a tube, or a field trip analyzing roller coasters at Six Flags, Parkway educator Elegan Kramer likes to mix things up. That just gets the kids excited and they also see how physics is everywhere in their lives. Most would agree physics is a challenging subject. I've always enjoyed physics, like one of my favorite subjects in high school was physics. It's her connection with students and her leadership in the physics community that caught the attention of national leaders. Elegan Kramer is one of two local teachers recognized for outstanding work in STEM education. It's really nice. Is it important? It's good validation, I would say, and it makes me more confident with my teaching um, and learning. The Presidential Awards for Excellence in Mathematics and Science Teaching are the highest honors bestowed by the U.S. government specifically for K-12 science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and computer science teaching. Well, it's wonderful to have all of you here today at the White House. Established by Congress in 1983, each president can give the award to just two teachers per state each year. The awards historically have been held at the White House. But due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this year's awards were held virtually. Elegant Kramer from Missouri. Jessica Haskins from Missouri. Jessica Haskins is the math award winner from Missouri. The Webster Groves High School math teacher originally thought her passion was coaching volleyball. In the 90s, she was a standout player at the school where she now teaches. But then she got in the classroom. But I was just so excited about getting kids excited about um, math and like building their confidence around math that um, I actually stopped coaching and to put all of my uh, attention into teaching. Bob is up here, just, you know, chilling. It's his break, just sitting up there like, oh, let, me, let me get some fresh air. So she says one of her big goals is getting kids to figure out that they can figure out math on their own. There's constant noise in my classroom. Kids are always turning and talking to each other. Um, I like to give opportunities for them to try way before I even give hints. And a lot of these kids surprise themselves. Seeing them grow in um, the space as people as well as mathematicians is just so awesome. Sometimes I can just stand at the front of the room and see them talk and I'm like a proud mama just going like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. There are similarities between the local award winners. Both are women now working at the high schools they attended. Both credit their own teachers as influences on their careers. I had a lot of really great teachers. And both are leaders outside the classroom as well. She's one of the most intentional adult learners I've been around in 27 years. Webster Grove's principal, Matt Irvin, says it's nice to see one of his school's teachers recognized. Haskins serves on the equity committee and helps train new teachers. She's not just a a school a classroom teacher, but rather a school teacher, and her presence is across the building, and that leadership's felt in her as a department chair, as a leader in our professional learning communities. Elegan Kramer served as president of the St. Louis Area Physics Teachers Group, where she says she picked up projects like the fire tube, a physics lesson that includes a flame moving to music. I would say that had a big part into how I am today as a physics teacher and how it changed my practice in teaching in general. The challenge of change prompted Kramer to take on a new position as virtual developer in the district, helping to shape Parkway's online learning, even as she helped her own virtual learner at home. Um, but even though I was really nervous, I was also excited because I knew that this challenge would stretch my practice and make me think about how to um, engage with other students and teachers um, in a different way. While they didn't travel to D.C. to meet their presidential award class, they are connecting with other winners. Kramer is in a book club with other science teachers, and Haskins has been a part of webinars and Facebook groups. All interactions, they say, that help them grow as teachers. I've always wanted to kind of expand the idea of teaching and for myself and maybe teach teachers. And I've started really uh, being open to taking student teachers on and practicum students um, just so I can kind of show them a different way of teaching. I feel like it made me a good, like made me realize like this is what a good teacher should do. And it made me learn about 
the best practices for teaching um, and how to highlight those. The presidential recognition also includes a $10,000 award from the National Science Foundation.